Hi everyone, I'm Doug from DigiPen in Redmond. In this video, we'll learn the effect that the upward speed of a jumping hero has on how much fun their game is. Previously, we introduced a game called Crystal Cat. Most of the fun of playing Crystal Cat comes from how it feels to make the hero move and jump, and these actions depend on three numbers, movement speed, jump speed, and the strength of gravity. We've already talked about movement speed, which controls how quickly the hero moves from side to side. Now let's focus on jump speed. Let's take a close look at the hero's jump. When you press the jump button, the hero begins moving upward. They continue to move up for a little while, and then they reach the peak of their jump. After that, they begin moving downward instead. Then they fall back down to the ground. When the hero reaches the ground, they land, and they can jump again. Jump speed is a number that controls how quickly the hero moves upward in the first part of the jump. The larger the jump speed, the faster the hero goes up, and the higher they get before they begin falling again. In Crystal Cat, the jump speed is 750 units per second. So, what does this mean? Well, Remember that Crystal Cat has gravity, and gravity pulls things downward. This is what causes the hero to fall back to the ground at the end of their jump. If it weren't for gravity, the hero would jump upward in a straight line and never come back down. With a jump speed of 750 units per second, after one second of moving upward along this straight line, the hero would be 750 units away from the ground. Of course, the game does have gravity, and it pulls the hero down as long as they're in the air. This means that the hero only moves upward at 750 units per second just at the moment they leave the ground. If it were a bigger number, like, say, 1200, the hero would move upward faster. If it were a smaller number, like 200, the hero would move upward more slowly. A higher jump speed makes the hero move upward faster. What else does it do? Well, as a consequence of moving faster, they also get farther because with a higher jump speed, it takes longer for gravity to pull the hero all the way back down. This means that a larger number for jump speed means a higher jump. With a jump speed of 1200, the hero can jump this high. When the jump speed is only 400, they can only reach this height. In Crystal Cat, if the jump speed is too low, the hero won't be able to reach all the crystals, and the player will feel frustrated. If it's too high, the hero will stay in the air for too long, and the player won't have much fun. The jump speed needs to be at least high enough to reach the highest crystals, and anything above that doesn't really help the player. Now it's your turn again to take the role of game designer. Let's experiment to find a good jump speed number for Crystal Cat with another modified version of the game. Click the link in the description below, and then find the project called Crystal Cat Jumping. The last time we played Crystal Cat, we used a version that let you change the game's movement speed. This time, the game will ask you what you want the jump speed to be. Just as before, type your answer into the little window here, and then either press the Enter key or click the checkmark button on the right. Here's what the game looks like with a jump speed of 400. That's a bit low, isn't it? To start again with a different number, click the green flag. In this version of the game, you can jump, but you can't move side to side. This is just to keep things simple while we run the experiment. 
Don't worry, in this version, all the crystals will appear where you can reach them even without being able to move. Let's begin the experiment. What do you suppose would be a good number to start with? Let's try something really big. Click the green flag to start the game. The standard jump speed is 750, so let's double that. In the text window, type the number 1500 and press enter or click the check mark. Play the game with this speed. Each time you jump, think about whether you like this new jump speed. After you're done playing the game, think about how it felt to jump with this number as the jump speed. Was the jump too fast or too high? Or perhaps you think it should be even higher. Either way, you can enter whatever number you like. Let's pick a new number now. Click the green flag and start again, and this time, Type the number 1000 and press enter or click the check mark. Play the game again. After this time through the game, what do you think? It's still a bit high, isn't it? Maybe we could cut that in half and try a jump speed of 500 instead. Remember, the jump needs to get the hero up to the crystal and back down again without wasting a lot of time in the air. Play this version of Crystal Cat a few more times on your own. First, play with a jump speed of 500. When you're done with that, play again with a jump speed of 900. When that game is over, play again with any jump speed you want. Try to come up with a jump speed that's just right. Let's recap what we've learned in this video. First, we revisited the idea that it's the moving and jumping in Crystal Cat that's where the fun is. We've already looked at movement speed, so we focused this time on jump speed, which controls how fast and high the hero jumps. Next, we saw how the hero's jump is also controlled by gravity which keeps the hero from moving in a straight line upward when they jump. Finally, we experimented with another modified version of Crystal Cat to observe the effects of using different numbers for jump speed. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at the effect of gravity on the hero's jump.